I'm going to head over to my silver tab and click this 109.99 button. And I'm about to honestly get sick here. <sighs> this is this is rough, guys. That was $110 down the drain. Oh, Pikachu. I love you. Oh! Oh, hey! Hey, come here! I, I, I got a little secret to tell you. I basically don't have any of the clan weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. It is true! The rumors you heard were true! If I go into my armory right now and I scroll down just a little bit, look at this! I don't even have the Lancelot or the Golden Bros. I don't even have something like the Galahad or the Gangsta Shield. Everybody else got the luxury beats. I don't have them. I have nothing. And I am a complete and utter failure. But let me tell you something. I am not going to stand for this anymore, okay? I just posted something on my YouTube community tab asking people to comment what they thought were some of the most OP weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. And everybody seemed to tell me that weapons like the Luxury Beats and the Morgana were some of the most OP weapons in this entire game. I don't have them. I haven't had them for, for years. <laughs> but that is hopefully going to change today, okay? In my Pixel Gun 3D game, what we are going to do is spend a little over $200 on silver. And we are going to see how many weapons from this store we can actually get. We're going to open up tons and tons of large clan chests and then super chests. And fingers crossed, we're going to get something epic. All I ask, please, okay, is if you could just take just a second and, and leave a like on this video. That would be absolutely amazing. It would mean the world to me. Okay, if you guys show your support, I will continue making videos like this. But if no one shows their support, what's the point of making videos like this anymore? Just please leave a like, okay? Leave a like or Humphrey is gonna die, okay? Because he's not wearing his mask properly. Just don't let my friend die, please, okay? And yeah, uh, subscribe for more Pixel Gun 3D content. I'm not going to be using a face cam here, but I just thought I'd add a face cam just in the intro here. Let me know if you like it and you want to see that more often in my videos. Well, that was stupid. I just clapped and destroyed my microphone. Nice. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, let's get into this, guys. So here we are, Humphrey. Are you ready? Are you ready to get more OP weapons in Pixel Gun 3D? I honestly don't think he is, but whatever. You know, if I go over here and click this little button up here, I could spend some money on the water park lottery. Because as you can see, there's a lot of real cool weapons that I can get. But guess what? I'm not going to do that, okay? Because it's probably honestly going to cost even more money. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are. I'm going to head over to my silver tab and click this 109.99 button. And I'm about to honestly get sick here. <sighs> this is this is rough guys that was $110 down the drain pressing this button one more time $220 bam just like that I am going to have enough to buy all of the clan weapons in pixel gun 3d so here are the different weapons that I can currently get right now right I can't get any of the weapons from the crystal ruby adamant and past divisions because I don't play this game enough to actually use any of those weapons but hey you know what Going back to my comments, I know a lot of people have told me weapons like the Luxury Beats right over here. Where is it? Right there. And then weapons like the Sniper Dude and the Golden Bros are super powerful. Weapons like the Gem Power and what is this? The Gangsta Shield and the Double Cashback. I've heard less about. Morgana, I know, is super powerful. Mordred, Percival and Lamorak, super powerful. And these other ones, not as much. But I've heard a lot of great things about these weapons. And honestly, let's just get into it, dude. What are we going to get? Gangsta Shield! 100 parts! Cool! Okay, we're a long ways to go from the full 250 for everything, but whatever. We're gonna open up another 15,000 and see what we get this next time. Come on, game. Give me something good. 100 parts for the Golden Bros. That is the weapon that I want. Give me the Golden Bros. And look at that, dude. Opening up another 15,000 worth of silver, I already have enough to get the clan super chest. Let's go! Give me something good! I have enough to... Already! Enough to craft the sniper, dude. Let's let's go. Okay, so if I go back now and I go click the craft button, I now have my very first clan weapon. 
Okay, so let's keep it going. All right, so we got the large clan chest, and uh, if I click on this now, I open up another 15,000 worth of silver. I got myself the Morgana, not actually the weapon, but I got myself parts to that weapon. What do we get this next time? The Luxury Beats, that's the weapon that I want. And the Galahad. Okay, that's a little bit less exciting, but hey, let's go open up our clan super chest. Come on, game, give me something good. The Lancelot, that is not, not what I really wanted, but okay. All right, large clan chest, here we go. Mordred, okay, that's wonderful. Oh my god! <laughs> this freaking game! Let's go open up the large clan chest now and see if we get enough for the Percival and Lamorak. Okay, I'm, I'm happy about that, right? I can't be mad with the Percival and Lamorak. That's a good weapon to get, and I honestly had no idea that was even a thing. <laughs> oh, hey, hey! I got promoted <laughs> to warrior. Look at how many farther promotions there are. Oh, God. How much do you want to bet that almost everybody watching this video is a higher rank than me? <laughs> I'm such a noob. Dude, look at this. I just got myself the Percival and Lamorak. Let's go. So now I got myself my second one. Is that my second one? Or is that my third one? I don't know. But look at Humphrey. Look at my boy. He looks so awesome with the Percival and Lamorak. What an absolute legend. My god. Okay, well, here we go. We got ourselves another 100 parts for the Luxury Beats, and we are so close. We're actually really, really close to, to crafting that thing. So I'm hoping in one of these next couple of chests, it's going to give me something that I need. The gem power is not what I need. Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, I'm actually running out of silver. This is a bit of a problem. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, here we go. Here's the clan super chest. This time, it's gonna give me something good. The Morgana? Do I have enough to craft that thing? <laughs> Let's go! I can craft the Morgana. Where is it? Right there. Look at that thing. It's an absolute beast of a weapon. Supposedly one of the best snipers in this entire game. I'm happy about that. Very happy about that. But I still want the Luxury Beats and the Golden Bros. And uh, what's the other one called? I don't really remember. But here we go. I'm going to open up some medium clan chests and, uh, wait, hold on a second. What does that give me? Biotic shield. What is that? That's not a weapon. Where is that thing even? Is that a gadget? Oh, it's a gadget. The astro wand is what I just got. No, 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 no. I don't want to get that. I want to get myself the weapons. I don't want the gadgets. No, I'm not spending more money to get the freaking gadgets. I've already spent 220. What are you, freaking insane game? Come on, give me that gangsta shield. I, I, I still can't craft another one. It's fine, though. I don't care. Give me that clan super chest. Galahad. Can I craft it? Yes. Another weapon. The Galahad. Now, it's not obviously the one that I wanted. <laughs> I wanted the lucky beats or the luxury beats, whatever it's called. I still don't have that. And here's another 15,000 silver down the drain. 100 parts for the golden bros. And, oh, shoot. I just ran out of silver. You've got to be kidding me. I still don't have the weapons that I wanted. I wanted the luxury beats and the golden bros. No! So this is the move, guys. You see the $55 little button right there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm spending another $55. So now we're at, like, what? $275 spent so far. And I don't even know if this is going to be enough. Oh my god. Come on, large clan chest. Give me something that I want. That is not what I wanted. The double cash back and I can't even craft anything yet. Please let me craft something. The Lancelot? What? I still can't craft anything? Bro, look at how many weapons I have that are so close to being able to craft. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Well, here we go. We're going to open up the clan super chest now, and yes, I can finally craft another one. The double cash back. Finally. Holy guacamole. This is ridiculous. Come on. Spend the last little bit of silver. Get yourself something good. The Mordred? I can craft another one. Okay, that's good. That's good. But here's the big problem that I am seeing. I do not have the weapons that I wanted. The luxury beats, which I wanted from the beginning. The sniper dude... And the Golden Bros. <laughs> I don't have the weapons that I wanted since the beginning. Why, Pixel Gun 3D, do you continue to screw me over? 
So I thought this was a great time to talk about something pretty important. So you might have noticed when I was doing that entire opening, um, it seemed like Pixel Gun 3D was purposely trying to make me spend the absolute most amount of silver possible, right? The most amount of money possible. You notice that when I got a weapon, I got 100 parts to a weapon that I couldn't craft yet, right? So I would get 100 and then 100 and then it would get at 200 and then I would never get parts for that weapon again. Then I'd get 100 and 100 for something else and it literally got me to the point where I had like 8 weapons with either 200 or 225 parts. And so because of that, guess what? I have to spend even more money on this game. Why? <laughs> this is absolutely horrible. Pixel Gun 3D. I gotta tell ya, if there are 8 weapons that I can open up a chest for and I could potentially get parts for, if 7 out of those weapons, I just need to open up one chest to get enough to craft it, why would you make it so the last one that I have to open will always be for a weapon that I can't craft? It just doesn't make sense. So now I have to spend even more money, and yay. That's just wonderful. We're looking at over $300 now in Pixel Gun 3D. Yay. So you know what I must do. I'm going to spend another 55 and then another, I think, like $35 after this, okay? And that will give me enough silver to actually get all of the weapons properly from this, okay? So there's another 22 after that. This is so painful! You better leave a like on this video, okay? And with that, we're going to spend the last $11. And that's going to be, what, like $350 for this video. I was expecting it to be $200. <laughs> And I've spent 350 This is not at all what I was expecting, but you know what? We're gonna open all of them up at the same time, and here we go. Oh, man! Come on! Okay, it's giving me lots of 100 part, 100 part, 100 part. And if I don't get enough of the weapons, I will rage quit. Yes, okay? I think this is good. I think this is a good sign. Yes! Finally! I got all of the clan weapons that I can get right now! Oh, the most satisfying thing in the entire world when I can craft literally all of these weapons here. Oh my god. There's what that- what's that one? The gangsta shield? And my beautiful luxury beats! Yes! And the gem power. Guess what? I can finally now do OP Weapon Gameplay 2020. $350 for that video. But guess what? I have all of them. There's my primary. There's my backup. I have no other weapons that I need to get in Pixel Gun 3D anymore. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a very, very brief gameplay just testing out all of these weapons. It's not going to be a full-on review of everything because there's a lot of weapons that I have to test. But I didn't think it would be fair to end an unboxing type thing of all of these super chests and then not test the weapons that I just got out, right? Like, this is my very first time testing things out, like the Gangsta Shield and the Luxury Beats. Everybody else has been testing them out for, like, years. So you're going to see my very first experience testing these things out, and I'm super freaking excited. So here we go, guys. We're ready to rock and roll. Look at my boy Humphrey right here. He is so ready for combat. I've never seen a scarier-looking smile in my entire life. But regardless, these are the six weapons we're going to test out first. The Lancelot, the Galahad, the Percival and Lamorak, the Mordred, the Morgana, and the Bevedere. These six weapons are going to be the first half of the next like 10 minutes or so of gameplay. And then we're going to be testing out the next six weapons, which start off with the Golden Bros. Now, I have not played Pixel Gun 3D since the new update, so this is actually my very first time jumping into Aqua Park. No idea how it's going to play out, but let's hope for the best. Woo! I'm excited! First time in Aqua Park! There's a guy right here. Let's see if we can take him out with this thing. Oh man, my aim is so rusty. Oh no, <laughs> guys. Oh, when you haven't played Pixel Gun in weeks, it really shows. But there we go. We got him the second time. And uh, okay, so this is the Lancelots, right? This is our primary weapon that we're first testing out. This is our very first impression of the clan weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. Get over here, boy! I'm going down a literal water slide. Holy. Okay, well, it takes, you know, a fair amount of shots to take somebody out with this thing, and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about 
this whole burst fire of the weapon. It seems pretty powerful, right? But I don't know if I would go as far to say that it is the most powerful primary weapon in this entire game. Or maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, I died. Wait, what? Um, okay, so yeah, it looks like if you can get headshots with this thing, just like with a lot of the other primary weapons, you're good, bro. I mean, yeah, let's see if I can hit this guy. I don't like this smoke. What is this, a hot tub? Is this a sauna? It's a hot tub. What the heck? Okay, well, you know what? We're going to be going over to our backup weapon because, again, as I said, I have to remember that this is just a very brief test. I can't spend that much time. Um, I don't even know what this thing is. Is this the Galahad? Um, I have no idea what this thing is even gonna be about. But let's see what it is capable of. Oh, it looks like it's capable of some damage. I mean, that was a three-shot kill. And that's a pretty decent firing rate. Although I do have to say that this thing does have a bit of a travel time. So you, it's a little bit difficult to shoot across the map, it seems. But in a map like this... I'm even, I'm even able to get a lot of kills like this, and this is a pretty long-ranged map. I feel like this in Silent School would absolutely demolish people. I actually really like this backup weapon. Yeah, see, as you can see, it's kind of hard to hit somebody from that far away, but uh, if you get up close and personal to people, you're like set. See if there's anybody up here. Oh my god, there's a guy right there! Dragon El Polderoso. I don't even know if I said his name right, but who cares? There's some people over there. Look at me doing parkour. Parkour! It's like Minecraft parkour, guys! Okay, I actually, I love this thing. It almost feels like it has area damage, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Wow, this is powerful! I mean, you can see, I'm doing better right now with this thing than even the primary weapon. And that's saying a lot, because backups are generally not supposed to be more powerful than primary weapons. This is a fun weapon to use. Look at this. Holy! I'm on the Elite Hunter little kill streak thingy. Can I get myself a monster kill? That's the real question. Very first time ever testing this thing out, the Galahad. I want to get myself a monster kill. Come on, game. Where are the enemies? There's a guy right over here. Woo, look at that. He just died with one single shot. Just zapped him instantaneously. All right, well, it looks like this match is just about to finish. And I got myself the victory. Look at that. How many kills did I get there? I mean, the fact that I got a victory with weapons that I've never used before, 14 kills is not that bad. I'm actually very, very impressed with myself. There's a guy! There's a guy! And I want to use my Percival and Lamorak! Get over here, boy! I mean, we know that the, the backup weapon's fantastic. I totally recommend the Galahad. Use that thing if you have it. Um, but I have used the Percival and Lamorak before, and I can already tell you that this map is going to suck for this weapon. It's going to be so hard to hit anybody with this. I'm not going to do very well with the Percival and Lamorak. Because I have to find somebody that's on the same level as me. Like, this guy, what do I do? How do I kill him? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I have to hold down the charge and then hope that I can hit him. Hit him! Oh my god! Game, what is this? Kill assist! No! Oh, wait. What? Where'd he go? He's right there! Yes! I finally got a kill! <laughs> you know when the Percival and Lamorak is the least powerful weapon that you've tested out so far? Um, you're using some very powerful weapons, because this is still one of the best weapons. How do I kill you? I can't even kill that guy. Wow. Did you see that? Literally, I was just standing there, and he was standing on top of the umbrella. He was looking like, sup, kid? I'm up top. You can't hit me with that thing. And then he just killed me. <laughs> god dang it. This is so hard. First of all, the Lamorak. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? How is he not dead yet? What? What? You've got to be freaking kidding me. I'm going to kill this person at least. Thank God. Oh my God. That was the newbiest moment of my entire life. I cannot believe I hit that guy like six times and he didn't die. This was ridiculous. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There's that little uh, that piercing effect type. Not piercing, but whatever it is. Like the bleeding effect that's coming in clutch with this thing. All right. Kind of getting the hang of it. I want to go move over to our special weapon now. Is this the Morgana? No, it's not called the Morgana. I think it's called the Mordred. And this is a flamethrower type weapon. So, again, it's probably not going to do too well in this map. But, you know what? I feel like I'm going to do better with this thing than the Percival and Lamorak. Let's see what we got. Bring it on, enemies! I'm exotic gaming. Look at me. I'm going to fly up from above. And you ain't never going to see me coming. Look at this guy. He doesn't know what's going to hit him. 
Ooh, destroy him with the flamethrower. Even though you were invisible, you stood no chance for the mighty exotic gaming. There's a guy that's somewhere over here. Okay, I'm gonna dip out of the. Oh no, there's this guy. It's Dragon. <laughs> what is he doing? Come on, kill him. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dragon. Dude, he even had his little mech on and everything. He was trying so hard. <laughs> but nope, he didn't. He didn't do well enough. He died. Oh man, and I died myself. That's unfortunate. All right, sniper time. We're going over time already. God dang it. We've already gone almost 10 minutes. <laughs> and I haven't even gotten to the le to the next six weapons. It's whatever. We're going to have fun, and if we go over time, it's okay. It's going to be a nice long video, and I don't think you guys are really going to complain about that. Oh man. Oh man. Well, nothing I could really do there. I wanted to use my sniper, and the guy was way too close to me. He was using that heroic epi weapon, I think it's called. And, uh... Like, what I'm using right now, this is where this weapon shines. Look at this. Look at my accuracy. Oh, man, I'm missing. Stupid rubber duck thingy. Get out of my way. No, I died. Okay, and then there's this person right here. Come on. Why are you running away? Why are you running? Why are you running? I can't hit you. Oh, my God, I'm such a noob. I'm missing every single shot. No. Oh, my God. It's okay. It's okay. I gotta get a couple more kills with this thing, and then, then it'll be okay. Oh my god, jump up. Go, go. Yes, finally. One more? Dang it. Yes, one more. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Okay, well, I didn't win that match, but it's okay. Oops, I just clicked an ad. God dang it. All right, here we go, guys. It's the next match, and I need to hit this person. Stop running. Oh my god. I keep missing all of my shots. I'm such a noob. I am so bad. I really have to... He just disappeared. What? Where'd he go? Okay. Well, that's weird. I, I have to practice more. <laughs> yes, finally, I got the headshot. Um, yeah. When you play and you, you stop playing for like two weeks, dude. Oh my god. My accuracy has just gone down the toilet. It gone down the toilet and then it went back up and then it went down the toilet again. Okay. All right, we're using this thingy now. What is this called? The Bevedere? I don't know what it's capable of. I don't even know what just happened there a couple seconds ago, but... Can I hit this guy? Oh, wait, what? Oh, it shoots a looping arc. Oh, it shoots an arc. Okay, all right. I can see some places that this is actually going to be pretty useful. Ooh. Okay, Bevedere. This might be an interesting weapon. This might be much more powerful than the other ones I tested out. Oh, I like the arc. Oh, it's powerful, dude. This is like a two-shot kill. Sometimes even a one-shot, at least from what I've seen so far. What about inside this room? One shot? Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. This is where this, this weapon shines. Oh, my God. You can jump up in this little pool thingy and then, like, hit people from up above. It's like I'm shooting airstrikes right now. Oh, my God. I'm missing. I'm missing. I'm missing. Hit him. Hit him. Come on! No! This is too close! Huh, huh. Whoa! Whoa! Where was that accuracy when I needed it a couple minutes ago? What the heck was that? I got like three headshots in a row. Why couldn't I do that earlier? Oh my god, and another one! Well, that's fine. Whatever, I don't care. I gotta go back to the Bevedere here. You just use this for a little bit more. But then we're gonna be switching over to our, our next primary weapon very, very shortly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit this guy. Oh, man. The arcing is actually... I got a fury kill. The arc is actually pretty, pretty strong. So you have to keep that in mind when you're using this thing. But yeah. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to equip our next six weapons here. And I know it's been like 25 minutes almost already. But it's okay. It's going to be a nice long video, as I said. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Whoa. Whoa, these golden bros look really powerful, dude. Oh my god, they beam. They literally beam players. I can already tell just from that very first encounter that this is going to be ridiculously powerful. I, I want to find somebody else. Where's somebody else? This guy right here. Oh my god. Whoa! Okay, this. This primary weapon. Look at this, look at this, look at this. It has such a fast firing rate. This is like the Neutron Pulsator. But almost easier to use. 
Like, I feel like it's easier to get kills with this thing than the Neutron Pulsator. And that's crazy to say because the Neutron Pulsator is like one of the best primary weapons in this entire game. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got these. These are my favorite weapons that I've tested out so far. Wow! Look at this! Look at this! I'm past a monster kill my very first attempt! This is awesome! Okay. Alright, if you're watching this right now, if you've watched this far, then uh, if there is one weapon that you should get so far, out of the seven that I have tested, the Golden Bros is definitely the way to go. Now we're going to be testing out this thing here. But the problem is, everybody's leaving. So I'm not exactly sure where people are. Is there anybody left? Hmm. Oh, there's a guy right here. <laughs> hey, buddy. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. I, I was honestly expecting this thing to not be that powerful, but it might be. Where's the next guy? I need to find somebody, and I need, I need to kill a couple more people just to, uh, to make my assumption. I'd love to actually review these weapons. Oh, there he is. I'd love to review these weapons. Wow, that's actually really powerful. It's a three-shot kill. Yeah, this is a three-shot kill if you can get headshots. Oh, but I'm already out of ammo. Wow. Okay, there's our melee. Little sneak peek at the melee. Um, you run out of ammo very, very quickly with that, it looks like. Um, I would definitely love to review these weapons. And if you guys would like me to review any of the 12 weapons that I test out, then comment down below which one. And I might do that over the next couple of uh, uploads. Like, I could easily do, like, a couple of reviews and post them all on the same day. You know, do, like, the Golden Bros review, this thingy, whatever I'm using right now. Because this looks really powerful, too. And whatever the melee is, for example. Like, I could test out a lot of weapons that are really, really powerful. And maybe you guys would like to see that. Dang it! Missing my shots! But I like this backup weapon. I, I like this more, I think, than the other one. I'm not 100% sure, but it's like, it's basically the other one minus the, the travel time with your bullets. So it's easier to hit people all the way across the map. You don't have a scope. You run out of ammo very quickly, so you got to make sure to pick up ammo whenever you can. Especially when you miss all your shots like I'm doing right here. But yeah, look at this. It is powerful. Multi-kill. I was just at an ultra kill and a monster kill, I think, earlier. I like it. Now we're going to test out the last four, starting with the melee. The double cash back. Come on. Okay, alright. This thing looks ridiculous. <laughs> I kind of expected this one to be super powerful. Um, and wow. Honestly, I think I might like this thing more than the Percival and Lamorak. You seeing this? You seeing what I'm seeing? I'm seeing a melee weapon that could potentially be one of the very best in the entire game. Not 100% sure about that, but massively fast swing rate and you have a super super fast mobility when you use this thing like you fly across the map this guy look at that i just catch right up to him there's this guy that's down here watch look how quickly i can catch up to him <laughs> he's just like wait what he turned around and he's like hold up there's exotic amy and then i and then he killed me so i mean honestly it's it's kind of my fault for doing that um but yeah, I think this is going to be a super, super powerful melee as well. And I would love to use this thing more often. Though it's probably pretty annoying to all these people. And that's why a lot of people left. It looks like it's kind of like the new version of the, of the uh, Storm Hammer in a way. Right? Like, look at that. Holy. This is good. This is very, very good. But guess what? This is the moment of truth. Everybody in my comment section of my, uh, of my YouTube community tab post told me that this weapon in my hands right here the luxury beast is the best sniper weapon and the most op sniper weapon in this entire game this is the moment of truth we're gonna test this thing out so there's a guy that's right over here there's this guy that's right here oh what does this weapon do what does this thing do is it oh wow it's very different it's kind of like this is like the raccoon with a pipe that's my best comparison it's very different than what i was expecting to be honest Wow, but it's actually very powerful. I am a fan. And we got ourselves the victory. Okay, sweet. I hope you're still watching. Um, yeah, there's only two people left here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually jump into a different map. And that way we can actually test this in a bit more chaotic area. All right, guys, we're jumping in the ghost town. And here we go. 
Oh man, don't you love when the game has you die the second you spawn in before you could even move? <laughs> wow, that actually took a lot of shots. Um, I'm very curious in how this is going to perform in a super close range map. If this is like the raccoon with a pipe. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I'm already at a triple kill and I can already tell the luxury beats are insane. It just melts players. Look at this guy's SWAT team. Oh my god. Look at... Okay, I died. But... This, this looks insanely powerful. If you use your melee weapon to get up quick to, quickly to people and then switch over to your special like that. Oh, dude. Look at this. I'm almost unbeatable. I can only imagine what this thing is like in like pool party or silent school. Imagine you just run into a crowd of people like this. And look at my kill feed. Like what I just was saying. Imagine running into a crowd like that all the time because that always happens in Silent School. And dude, you're <laughs> you're going to get so many kills. I'm at a monster kill already. Luxury beats. They're the best ones I've tested out so far. And I didn't think you could possibly get better than the golden bros. Oh my god. I love these things. They're ridiculously OP and I would hate anybody else using them against me. But me using them right now, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Hey, SWAT team. Come here, SWAT team. Oh, SWAT team killed me. God dang it. How did SWAT team kill me? This is not acceptable. Uh-uh. Let me use my double cash back to just fly across the map in record time. Hit this guy behind him before he even realized I was behind him. Switch over to this thing real quick. Instant kill. Now, here's the thing. You can be switching between your melee and your special weapon like I did just there and not even necessarily need to use the special because the double cash back is like just as powerful. And I already got myself a victory. Wow, that match went by really, really quickly. <laughs> that was so much more intense than that Aqua Part match. There were only three other people, but it was so intense and I got myself so many kills. That's awesome. But I think now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to our sniper dude. And aha, there's a guy right there. It's a two-shot headshot, I think, and it seems like it has a very fast... Wow, one-shot headshot? Whoa. This has a very fast firing rate, and it looks insanely powerful. It sounds so satisfying as well. Oh, I don't even think I hit that guy the second time. I think I hit him with a headshot, and then he died from an effect. Interesting. Very interesting. You do run out of ammo very, very quickly with that sniper. The sniper dude looks like you're going to have to really be hunting around the map for ammo and stuff like that or else you're not going to really be able to kill too many people. Like, look at this. I already ran out of ammo again. And, uh, I don't know. I think this is a really, really fun weapon. Look at this guy's skin! Hold up! It's Humphrey 2.0! He stole my skin. It's my long-lost brother. It's Bumphrey. I am Humphrey, and this is Bumphrey. It's Bumphrey, guys. His name is not whatever it is, Daddy. That's a horrible username. You deserve to die. But his name is Bumphrey, actually. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with the sniper, dude. I think this is a weapon that I might use more than any of the other ones off camera. Like, I don't think I'm going to be using the, uh, the special weapon, the Lucky Beats or Luxury Beats, too much off camera just because I think it's pretty newbie. And I can get what a lot of you guys are saying when you think it's OP. But I feel like this weapon, the sniper dude, and the, uh, whatever the, uh, the primary weapons is called, I feel like those are weapons that I am going to use a lot off camera. So if you see me in a match with the Humphrey skin, and I have the sniper dude and the golden bros, it's a good chance it might be me. And it might be me when I'm not making a YouTube video, so just keep that in mind. If I'm using other weapons, I might be making a YouTube video, but, uh, yeah. So here's us using the gem power right now. That's my first kill I ever got with this thing. And it just looks like it. Like, what even what even is this thing? It's just like an area damage minigun. Like, what? This thing is ridiculous. Oh my god. Wow, look at the reload though. Very, very slow reload. But like, it doesn't even matter. You could get so many kills with this thing. Oh my god, the last couple of weapons that I have tested out are so OP. This loadout that I have in my inventory is like the single most overpowered weapon loadouts in like all of Pixel Gun 3D. <laughs> wow. I mean, the sniper dude to the freaking golden bros to even the backup weapon. 
The gangsta shield, dude, is is so powerful. And this gem power in the heavy section is is no stretch of the imagination as well. Like, if you manage to get this thing, you could easily win matches in close range. And even Ghost Town, like I am in, no problem no whatsoever. This is fun. This is very fun. It's ridiculously OP and newbie, but it's fun. And that's the most important thing. If you're having fun, who really cares, you know? Oh my god, I just realized it, it, my, my recording stopped. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. My recording stopped. I had to start my recording again. Um, there's only 30 seconds left. We're only going to be using this for a little bit more. We've gone way over time, and I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry this video is so long. I was having a lot of fun testing these things out. I might make another video with these things pretty soon, but uh, yeah. Let's go see if we can get a couple more kills. There's one more. How many more kills can I get? There's another one. There's another one. Come on, finish off strong. No. <laughs> come on, come on. How many, how many more kills can I get? I got another one. Come on. And there we go. We got ourselves the victory. Awesome. Well, there you go, guys. That was my, uh, my little test, which ended up being more like 20 minutes than 10 minutes. I'm sorry, okay? Of uh, all these new weapons from this clan section in Pixel Gun 3D. Out of the weapons that I tested, honestly, I absolutely loved the Golden Bros extremely overpowered weapon. <laughs> the Gangsta Shield and the Galahad are both ridiculously powerful. You really can't go wrong with either of these melee weapons, though I might like the double cashback more than the Percival and Lamorak. And then this is exactly like everybody was saying. The Luxury Beats is probably the best special weapon in this entire game. It's ridiculous, okay? And then for the Sniper, I mean, the Sniper dude is insane. It's better than the Morgana, one of the best snipers in this entire game. And then uh, I think the Gem Power is ridiculously powerful. Bevedere can be insane in that pool, in that center area of the Aqua Park. But uh, the Gem Power is really, really powerful as well. Um, I hope you all did enjoy this video, though. This was a lot of fun making, but um, I, again, spent $350. So all I ask is please leave a like on this video if you did enjoy and try to get as much engagement as possible with this video. Try to comment, you know, watch the whole video and uh, share it with your friends. Just try to get this video out there because I'm dying here, okay? But you know what? It's okay. It was a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much and I will see you all later.